Right, welcome back. Now, after you did the quiz, uh, let's us recap about fuzzy sets. Okay, so as I show an example here, fuzzy linguistic variables, it could be freezing, cool, warm, and hot. And even in this class freezing, we can have um, uh, the coolest okay or frozen uh, condition and less freezing condition okay so that's why we need a membership function okay how freeze is a freezing uh, condition or how cool is in that cool condition okay so one question here what is the temperature we can simply ask okay it's 36 degrees celsius so how warm is 36 degrees celsius okay for those who maybe outside Malaysia, they, they, they can't actually uh, guess how warm is 36 degrees Celsius. Okay. Right. So, let's look at the membership function. As I said, freezing, okay, could be 0 degree. Okay, that's very cold. Right. And then, until uh, we have 30 uh, degree Fahrenheit, okay, and this would be a combination between cool and freezing. Okay, so this is the membership function. Okay, this area is totally freezing area. Okay, but this is a combination whereby the freezing is changing into cool condition. Alright, and even cool condition, there is an intersection. Okay, there is a condition where it is cool. Uh, but it's becoming warmer here, right? It's becoming warmer and it's starting uh, to get warm. Okay, the overlap section here, similar with hot. Okay, okay, warm, okay, could be a uh, initial condition of a hot. Okay, and we have a boiling condition here. Right, so this is the membership function. Where is that condition? Is it the preliminary of that certain uh, condition? Okay, for example here, it's a starting of hot. Okay, this is a medium hot. Okay, and this is a hottest of hot uh, class. Okay. Now, how cool is 36 degree uh, Fahrenheit? Okay, so you, we can project, okay, from the graph, okay, 36, say 36 is here because we have 40 here. Okay, let's say this is 36, okay. So, if you project 36 here, okay, we can say that it is freezing and also starting to, uh, going into a cool uh, class, uh, class okay we call clue cool condition okay so if we can read uh, the uh, membership uh, function we can say 36 degree is actually 30 percent cool and 70 percent freezing so most of it is still freezing Okay, moss is still freezing but it's starting to become cool condition. 30% is becoming cool condition. Alright, so we use a graph to predict what is the output. Alright, so how do we use fuzzy membership function in predicate logic? Okay, so we have fuzzy logic connective as well. Okay, we have conjunction and and also disjunction that is a or. Okay, so uh, let's look. At the example, fuzzy disjunction, that is the or. If we have a condition A or B, so we will take the maximum of the value. Right? Um, so, if this is the condition event A, okay, so let's say we have a rules if A or B, then C. Alright, so if you want to know what is the membership function of C, Okay, or what is the fuzzy value of C? Okay, we have to take the maximum. Okay, so we project here. If A is 0 
Okay, and B is 0 0.75. Using or this junction, we will take the maximum. So, we will proceed with C as 0 0.75. Okay. Now, if it's an N conjunction, we take a minimum. So, the same example, uh, 0 0.375 and 0 0.75. Because it's N, we take the minimum. So C value is 0 0.375. Okay. So let's look at uh, another example here. Okay. Calculate A and B given that A is 0 0.4 and B is 20. So A is 0 0.4. Okay. So you need to uh, draw a line 0 0.4 here. And read what is the value you have here. Alright. And B is 20. Okay. Make a line. And read the value. Okay. So, de determine degree of membership first. A is 0 0.7. Okay. By having this line, you can take that 0 0.7. And then we have B. Okay. 20. So, we read that as 0 0.9. And remember, it's a conjunction. So, apply the conjunction, we take the minimum, that is 0 0.7. Okay. So, this concept has been used uh, in many applications uh, to control, for example, speed control, temperature control uh, in air condition. Okay, so we will look at the example uh, of this after this, after the break.